Hi, well I'm back. This time we're talking about gas meters and how to do tightness tests and lead by test and stabilization and the installation of a gas meter as well. It's been four years since I've done a video, four years. And since then, just opening up my page, um, I've had over 750 subscribers and over 100,000 views. So thank you very much for your support and I'm back. Thank you very much. So let's talk about manometers. This is, here we go, look. This is a cheap one with water inside. So then, whenever you use a manometer, always make sure it's level either side, just to get most accurate reading. And always go by the bottom of the line. So you go for the bottom of the meniscus, so that, that's a little bubble line there, okay? So the first thing you need to do when you're testing is a let by test. So for one minute, you set the pressure at 10 millibar. And that is to test the emergency control valve is shutting off. So these always need to shut off when they're knocked down off. And they should always have a label as well indicating that. So let's say for example, you, you, you set the, the gauge to 10 millibar and after one minute increases, then what I suggest you do, undo the anaconda, the flexible pipe, obviously never get a flux on that because it corrodes, a little bit of a tip for you there. Open it up, close it, sorry and just put some LBS spray. If it's bubbling, that tells you the emergency control valve is passing. Next minute is a stabilization. So you set the manometer, the U gauge, at 20 millibar and you test it for one minute. So basically what you're doing there is you're allowing for the, for the environment to a, a, a adjust and settle to the gas temperature. The video, the clip I'm going to show you later on, is, is in sunlight, it's in broad daylight, there's a gas pipe running around the outside of a dwelling, and I do a stabilisation test for one minute because the sun is hitting the gas pipe. After that, you do a two minute tightness test at 20 millibar. So two minute tightness test. So here we go then chaps, ladies. So on a U6 meter, you're allowed four millibar drop. That's on 28 mil pipe. On an E6, you'll have an 8 millibar drop in 28 mil pipe. But remember, if a customer smells gas, act. So in other words, if a customer says to you, look, I can smell gas, doesn't matter how much droppage there is, you've got to act, you've got to report it, you've got to look for it, you've got to search for it, you've got to overhaul it. Okay, guys? Um, also, remember, you've got to consider what is on the what, what's on the run as well. So if there's no, if there's no appliances, just a meter and some pipe work, you're not allowed any droppage, which is common sense, isn't it? You know, if there's a cooker with a hob on, that's got four taps plus the oven, plus you've got a boiler, maybe you've got a gas fryer as well. So no droppage if it's just a meter and pipe work. And if you smell gas, you act straight away. Also, educate landlords. Tell them to tell the tenants. Tell them to tell the homeowners as well. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Next clip's coming up. So now I'm going to talk about meters the installation of them. So just remember, if you're gonna take one out, you have to consider earthing as well. So that's why you need these earth clamps. So if you take one out, you've got your continuity going across. The other thing you need to consider is of the spray. You've got to use this because when you spray this, if you don't get it all off, it's still not gonna corrode any metal. So this is a good safe option as well. So here we go. Let's talk meters, gas meters. So if you've got a gas meter that's semi-recessed in the wall, always have a sleeve. So here you've got your cavity, cavity insulation look, and you've got your sleeve going through the meter, through the wall, through the cavity. So you've got your sleeve, and then here you've got your pipe going through it, and you've got your seal as well. So make sure you do that then, please. Next thing we have, here we have the meter. So here we go then. So here at the bottom, we've got a pipe. So whenever you've got a meter box, always have your pipes going down, because if you go at the top of the meter box, what you'll find is water could penetrate through and it uh, could cause corrosion. Always label your meter. Here we've got a flat one. Your meter really needs to be within six meters of a property. If not, you've got to have additional um, emergency control valve. Here we have a meter. It's going to have an emergency um, contact number on. It's going to have a label on saying about how to turn it on and off. So remember what I said previously, you've got to turn it down for it to be off. And there's your label. The handle's always going to be attached. Because don't forget, this is vital. This is vital. If there's an issue with gas leakage, 
He got you con knock coming up. Remember that's your flexible pipe. Don't get flux on it. It'll pinhole just like that. Here we go. Two diameter. That's the maximum you're allowed when you come to do that bend. Here you got your bracket going across for your meter. If you don't have that meter at the unions to secure it, the first 500 mil of pipe work has to be clipped just to give it some extra strength. Your test nipple, make sure you use LDF spray on it. Here you have your exit, your outlet. So on that, within the first 600 mil, there has to be earth bonding and it's got to be before the T as well. Okay then, onwards, let's move on. Hi guys, Jonathan Hallam here. So I'm just doing a tightness test. So first thing you want to do is to let by. So you're going to put it to 10 millibar. That's to see if this ECV is controlling. Let's see if it's passing by, see if it's leaking. While I'm waiting for this let by test for one minute, what I'm going to do is just inspect the meter. So we've got emergency contact details. On off switch, that's not very good, could be sealed, could be sleeve going through, check the casings all neat, then we'll do a temperature stabilisation, so for one minute I'm going to put it at 20 millibar, and obviously you can see the weather, so it might slowly increase as well, and then we'll start the tightness test after that. So I'm almost done now, so um, always tell the tenant or the customer where the gas meter is just in case of times of emergency if it's not anywhere near the property you want to put a label on just to give an indication where it is and also make sure the gas meter is labeled for the premises like flat one flat two on completion always use ldf spray bleach detection fluid you've got to use this because it doesn't corrode you don't want to put washing liquid on or anything like that so put a bit of a spray on 